Hello everyone. Here I will tell you eight useful settings for your input RC and batch RC files. I will give you examples on the terminal. Okay, the first two set settings uh, in the input RC are related. Let me show you what they do. So right now I'm at my home folder. Suppose I want to go into the download folder. I can do CD, DO. And at this point, if I do the tab key, you see two things happens. The first is that it tells me two potential matches, documents and the downloads. The second is it corrects the lowercase d to uppercase d. So that's exactly what these two uh, options are for. So at this point, I can just type d uh, w to make the selection unique and click tab. Then I will get downloads and then I can enter into it. Okay, this is actually related to uh, this auto CD setting too. I, I always use them together. So auto CD just means you don't need to type the CD and you can just type the, uh, the folder name and enter into it. So normally I would do DOW and then I do the tab key and it will uh, complete for me and then I can get into it. Um, in another video, I actually talk about another uh, tool called Z. So Z will allow me to jump to other places. So say if I do Z, let's say I want to go to document, I can just do the some part of it. Then I will go to the documents folder too. I will put the link for the for the other uh, video in the description. Okay, let's go back to uh, the settings here. Okay, I can just talk about this one, uh, the dir expansion. So what the, this one does is, for example, um, suppose you have some environment variables, uh, and you you are executing some command uh, related to that environment variable. So here I have a dash s variable which points to uh, some folder. So suppose um, I'm I'm uh, I want to show some file in there. Then I uh, hit the tab key. It will uh, there are many stuff there, and it will ask me if I want to show them. I say no. But you see, even if I say no, it does one thing for me, which is expand this environment variable. This is useful. This is useful because sometimes your environment variable might not be set set. And then if you do the tab, then you will actually know whether it whether there's a content in there or not. Okay, the next let's talk about these two guys. They are uh, super useful. So these two keys are actually just the upper arrow and the lower arrow keys. And, uh, and they will uh, help you to uh, go through the histories. Um, so for example, I have run cmp command before. So normally if you just do up and down, it will go through the um, history one by one. Uh, and uh, uh, But with those two settings, let's say I have run cmp command before. And if I type part uh, the cmp and then if I hit up, it actually goes through the history where um, cmp is uh, is the leading part of that command. So so you can probably see this is useful because uh, when you want to rerun a command in the same folder, then you can just type a little bit of that command and then just do up and then you will get to your, your command very quickly. Okay, uh, next one is this VI uh, mode. So, so normally, if you don't set anything, it will be in the Emacs mode. The terminal is in the Emacs mode. Um, and I don't really use Emacs, and the VI is more natural to me. So suppose we have typed a command, and we can do escape, then it's, it's become VI, and you can just use the uh, VI command to, to uh, navigate. Or you can delete stuff. Or you can even use dd to delete the whole thing. Um, 
but uh, this is only VI, so there are some some command, some motions that are not uh, supported. For example, CIW is supposed to delete that word, but it doesn't. Um, so in those cases, uh, you may want to trigger the, the full editor. And you can do that by uh, typing the V command. So right now I'm already escaped. And if I do V, it actually triggers the FC command, uh, which which will run the command after your addition. So here I can do CIW and then uh, um, do my edit. And if I exit, it will run that. Okay, the next one. Uh, so sometimes you, you might have experience that you accidentally type Control S and then your terminal uh, uh, freezes. And then you have to do Control Q to exit that. So this setting basically disallows Control S so you won't accidentally uh, get into that uh, weird mode. Okay, that's all what I want to talk about today. Uh, hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.